Hi guys, we continue our lesson on revet. This is the third step on how to identify and determine the most critical revet. In this video, we are going to learn on how to determine the reaction forces on each revet. Basically, there are only two types of reaction forces acting on each revet. First is direct shear force, which is due to the centric load at the centroid. The second is tangential force, which is due to moment. Okay, now we draw the direct shear force first. The direction of direct shear force is parallel and opposite direction with the centric load at the centroid. Look at this centric load. It is acting on first quadrant with the angle of 30 degrees. So the direct shear force on each rivet must be drawn acting on third quadrant with the angle of 30 degrees also. Then, the magnitude of the direct shear force must be divided equally from the total centric load. Since we have four rivets here, so the total force of 50 kN at the centroid will be divided by four rivets. And we get the direct shear force on each rivet is 12.5 kN. Next, to draw the tangential force, I draw a dotted line to make clear that the moment rotate in a round shape. The moment here creates tangential force on each rivet through its counterclockwise rotation. But in our case, we don't need to draw the tangential force created by the moment. What we have to do is, we have to draw the reaction of the force that we call it tangential force also. So, the combination of reaction tangential force due to moment must be opposite to the moment rotation which is clockwise rotation. So, at rivet A, F1 is acting to the right. At rivet D, F4 is acting downward. At rivet C, F3 is acting to the left. And at rivet B, F2 is acting upward. Next, we have to identify the distance from the centroid to the center of each rivet. And we noted as R. You can see here, the distance from the centroid to the center of rivet A, we noted as R1. From the previous video, we already know the distance here, which is R1 equals to 0 0.05 meters. One more thing, you also may determine the direction of tangential force through R. The tangential force of each rivet must be perpendicular to the R and opposite direction to the applied moment. Same as R2, the distance from the centroid to the center of rivet B, we noted as R2. And you may refer to the previous video to double confirm the distance. The value of R2 is 0 0.08 meters. Then R3 equals to 0 0.05 meters. And R4, 0 0.08 meters. After that, we calculate the summation of R square, which is R1 square plus R2 square plus R3 square and plus R4 square. And we get the value is 0.0178 square meters. And now we can calculate the value of tangential force on each rivet by using this formula. Then we get the value of tangential force. So this is the final free body diagram looks like. We have applied forces at the centroid and we have reaction forces on each rivet. That's all for this session. In the next video, we will learn on how to calculate the resultant force and shear stress on each rivet. Then determine the most heavily loaded rivet and the most critical rivet. This rivet has high possibility to fail first. That's all. Thank you for watching.